Hello friends, welcome to this channel. Today we are going to see how to implement the MQTT using ESP32. We are going to use the UBDOTS platform for visualizing the data. UBDOTS platform is a good platform for doing Internet of Things projects. So let us get the free trial of this uh, UBDOTS platform. So just press the get started for free button. So you will see the next window. Here two options are there. You can use the UV dots for educational purposes or the for business purpose. So for business purpose you need to pay the money and for educational or the personal use you need not have to pay anything that is free so press this button then you will land into this page so here you can enter your username email and password and create your account so I have already created my account and already logged into that so let us go and see my account so nothing is there right now so first and foremost thing is to is that we can create we should create the device first so press on devices click here I think one project is already there. I will delete that. So we will create the device. So there are no devices created, it is saying. So we will create the device. We will create the blank device. We will give the num name as ESP32. Now ESP32 device is created. Now we will click on this. So we need to add the variables over here. First variable I am going to add is counter variable so so name of the variable is counter so set the min and max value to 0 from 0 to 100 so allowed range value is entered so we'll go back and create another variable and give the name as switch1 variable has been successfully created and we can enter the variable range as 0 to 1 means it can have the two values either 0 or 1 let us go back so two variables are created now and then let us go to the data click on the dashboard So dashboard is seen. We are going to add the widget. The first widget I am going to add is gauge. So we need to link the variable to this gauge widget.
I'm going to link counter variable to this widget. Now it has been added. Now let us add another widget. This time it is switch. So we'll add the variable over here. And attach switch one to this widget. Now things are set. So let us go to the coding part. This is the Arduino ID. So we are using PubSlub client library for this purpose. So in order to download that library, you need to visit this page and download the library from here and copy it into the library folder of the Arduino. And then you can add the board through the board manager. For uh, Before that you need to click on the preferences. So add this JSON file for the ESP32 board over here press ok and you can go to the tools and go to the board manager and here you can search for the ESP32 it is taking time because yeah now it is done so type ESP32 and search so this is the library which you can download I have already installed it so I need not have to install it in the tools In the tools you can select your board. My board is ESP32 DevKit P1, so I have sele already selected that. So you can select it from here. Now let us see the coding part. So this is the token ID which you can copy from the UV dot site over here go to the API credential click here and copy it from here and paste it over here now you can uh, give any client name as mkt client 123 this is the name I have given so next is topic in this is for receiving the data from the other publisher that is and this is the label this should be same as the label of the variable one variable switch one so we'll see that So this is the ESP32 device and these are the variables. So click over here.
this is the API variable API level and this you can copy it over here same thing for topic out so counter is the name of the API level there let us go back and press this variable so this is the counter name counter variable so you can copy this api label and paste it over here counter means it is uh, for showing the count value which I am going to increment every 6 seconds so let us go to the dashboard so now this is the code here you can set the SSID for your router then the password and this is the MQTT server industrial.api.ub.com and then this is the MQTT port number 1883 rather and this is the these are the functions this is the setup MQTT function where you are going to do the setup for the MQTT server then this is the cell, got, uh, cell callback function this function is required to receive the message from the other publisher this function does the connection of ESP32 with the router this is basically a Wi-Fi connection and then this is actually the callback where we are going to operate the LED as per the input received from other publisher so this is the setup where serial port is initialized at the baud rate of 9600 LED is LED pin is declared as output and then uh, connection to Wi-Fi is established and setup for MQTT is done there is a routine for or the function for the reconnection of the MQTT client so here is the code in the loop if MQTT client is not connected then the reconnection function is called then the MQTT client loop starts and here the every six second the counter value is published right so this is the overview of the code so we are going to upload the code in the ESP32 so uploading has started now let us see what is happening on the UV dots as the uploading has been done in the ESP32 so we can see over here the counter value is incrementing by 10 and we will see that what is the status of the switch we will make the switch on it will make the LED on and we will make the switch off it will make the LED off so that's it for today thanks for watching the video and uh, if you like the video then press the like button please do subscribe to this channel and do share this video with your friends 
Thanks again. Have a good time.